Uh, you broke the news last week, Joe, that you uh, are getting an apartment, have gotten an apartment. You're moving in soon. It's a nice little place. The only problem is I need everything. <laughs> I need towels. I need a fork. I need I, everything. My walls are going to be bare. I don't have, I have okay. nothing. What do you have? So I have a TV. Okay. A real TV or some old crap? Oh, no, no, it's nice. It's in my parents' basement right now. Okay, so you have so a I nice have TV. TV. Yeah. I have a, a an Xbox. Nice. I have a sleeper sofa. I think it's all you need. I mean, you're set to me. That's good. I have a recliner. All right. My sister said she's going to give me a new blender, so I have a blender. And that's pretty much it. What are you making with a blender? You you juicing? What are you doing? <laughs> no, I mean, it's, if somebody says, hey, I'm going to give you a blender, I got to take it. When, when are you going to use it? You make margaritas? What are you going to be doing with the blender? I don't know, but I, I know this. If it's my only appliance, it's going to get used a lot. So you need pots and pans. Yep, need them. Plates, silverware. Yes. yes. You need a, a toaster. Yes. My stepmother, she goes, hey, let's go. We're going to go to Costco, right? Yeah. So we're picking out a bed. They got a whole bedroom set. It's like six grand. The problem is I want to get a canopy bed because, you know, I like to tie chicks up and I'm going to be single again, right? What? So I want. But you want to get a bed just so you can tie women up in it. I want a bed that's easy to do that with. So and you know chicks, they, the canopy bed is known for this? Well, it's got the four posts. So then that's something that's easy to do. And then I'm like, well, I don't want to buy a bed there. I'm going to get a canopy bed somewhere else. And my father's like, he's like, well, you don't. That's a girl's bed. So I can't sit there and say, listen, this is for deviant sex. I can't say that in front of them. If you were never going to have a woman over, would you want a canopy bed? No, of course not. Okay, so, I want a canopy bed. I'm a man. So how often will you use it to tie a woman up? Like 0.001% of the time? Oh, I don't be agree for that? that. Southern Bell is offering me beds <laughs> right now. Are they canopy chat. beds? Let's see. I'm going to look here. No, it says, she's uh, offering you a bed that her grandfather died in. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> you're going to be in that room and you're going to hate your bed, except for I that every once in a while, maybe you tie someone up in it. I don't even think I have an opinion about a bed unless I can use it for you know my own purposes. <laughs> you don't have any sort of a uh, style that you like. The Southern Bell says, uh, don't get that kind of bed. It will freak women out. <laughs> Respectfully, Southern Bell, I'm going to disagree. I'm curious, though. I mean, we need a woman to answer this. If you walk in to a guy's house and you see he has a canopy bed, is that a concern or is that just I don't weak? Think so. I don't think so. I don't think a woman would look at it and see a canopy bed and go, oh, this guy's a freak. You like tying women up so much that this is your, your bed of choice. That's correct. Do you use rope or do you use pillow? No, I need that too. I need everything. I need rope. You need an S&M kit. I need kit. handcuffs. Oh, yeah, I need all you that. You can buy a regular bed and then has some sort of attachment or mount. I'm sure that exists where you can transform the bed into a kinky bed. I, I mean, I guess you could. You can get a nice bed, a nice sleigh bed that's probably cheaper than a nice canopy bed. There's nothing to secure the rope to on a sleigh bed. Why do you got to get the canopy? Why can't you just get four posts? Thank you. Yes, Robbie, that, that will also work. One of those wrought iron, elaborate, formed metal. That's the best one. <laughs> I, a canopy bed. Is there anything else that you need in this dungeon? I need a TV stand. I need a dresser. And then I have a, a second bedroom. When my kids are over, they're going to stay there. So I need like two twin beds. They're going to see your bed. Are they going to know what it's for? No, they're just going to see the bed. And they're going to own the cool bed. And then that's going to be it. Robbie, are you, is this a Robinson thing that you tie women up? No, that's really not my thing. It's not my thing either. It just seems like a lot of work to me to tie <laughs> someone up, then to untie them if they want well, to Well, it can them. be a little weird. I'm not a it's Boy not, Scout. I don't know. Like, I'm not that I'm good saying. in bed. Not... I don't need to add new things that I have to learn how to do. <laughs> if you had one scarf or one rope or a tie or something and you just shoved it right on the corner, whatever post you had, you're good to go. As a housewarming gift, do you want us to give you rope or something? Or Yeah. Twine. Okay. Twine. Thick. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Gag yeah. ball. I don't know, like a tube sock would be fine. I can get you a tube sock, Joe. <laughs> I don't think my girlfriend would let me tie her up. It's, this is the white black thing. It just doesn't seem right to me. <laughs> no, is that a joke or she really wouldn't? I mean, I we haven't talked about it, but I don't. It just uh, <laughs> well, maybe she would. I don't know. About it. If you haven't done it now, how long have you guys been dating? Uh, a long time. Yeah, it's 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 never happened. It's never come up though. You've never even talked about it. No, no, never talked about it. Are there a lot of rules for you? Um, <laughs> yes. Like, are there places you can't go? That's no, yes. no, it's it's pretty open. Yeah. So everything goes. I mean, <laughs> there, 
there's it's a it's not it's not super strict. I'm I'm very happy with the level of you can't pee off things. it, can you? There's a couple things off limits. No, there's I, I don't there's there's put it this way, there's nothing that I really want to do that I that I can't do. <laughs> it is funny because every guy wants to do the next thing, whatever they're allowed to do. Now I want to do the one more thing. However, every guy says what Rob is saying. Oh, I don't, I'm not really into that. You know, if your girl says, I'm not into this, then you go, I'm not really into that either. When actually you'd love to do that. No, the idea that she, it's a girl will let you do that is sort of uh, a turn on, but I don't want to, I don't want to pee on anybody. I mean, come no, on. No, I got that, but I know you want to tie her up. That's ridiculous. I know no, you I do. don't. You don't want to tie her up. I, yes, okay, you you know what? Yeah, I want to tie her up so I could be left alone. I can go in the other room and watch TV. That's <laughs> tie her why. up and leave. <laughs> That's why I would want to tie her up. You're saying you don't want to tie her up is what you're saying. No, I have no, I well, mean, I'm not, said, if she wanted me to tie her up, I would. It's like I'm against okay, it. Listen, as a favor. That's what I'm talking about. If she said, <laughs> Hey, tonight I want you to tie me up. You'd be like, all right. If that's what you want. That wouldn't be a turn on for you to, to, if she asked to be tied up. I mean, I'd be, I'd be cool with that, but I mean, it's not, it, I wouldn't bring it up otherwise. This sounds insincere. This doesn't sound right to me. Robbie, you're agreeing with me, right? I wouldn't be opposed to the tying up thing. It's not my thing. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I'd rather put my energy. How well, nice of you. <laughs> I'd rather put my, I'd rather put my energies elsewhere. I can't wait to see this bed. You're going to be living on your own. That's and right. for the first time since what? I've never I mean, lived by myself. Now I'm moving into my own place for the first time ever. Do you know how to do anything? Do you clean? I mean, can you cook? No, I can't. I mean, I, I don't <laughs> mind cooking or trying to cook, but I'm not going to cook. Do you know how to make salmon? Prepare it. No, I don't know. Prepare it, gonna but I mean, it. there'll be some way to eat it. I mean, I'll buy it if it's canned or whatever. I'll just eat it. <laughs> to be honest with you, most likely I'm like, eh, I'm going to get a pizza. I get Chinese. I mean, that's probably you what's going to happen. You can't do that. You got, look, if I gave you chicken breast, you couldn't make it. Yeah, I put it in like a grill a pan. pan and yeah, I could do that. Wait, how could I not? You just heat it up. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting with the there, basic. Olive oil and you heat it up. Yeah, no, I yeah, could no, do that. Really yes, and, I, and I will. I'll basically eat green vegetables. I'll get spinach. You know, I'll get. That's good. You know, You're going to eat chicken, fish, and vegetables. You're going to be. In that's my plan. Yep. Shit. Blueberries, walnuts, avocado. I'm only eating superfoods. I'm telling you that right now. That's it. Cucumbers. When my kids come over, they're going to be like, what's to eat? And I'm like, here are some blueberries. That's it. That's all we have to eat in here. You're not, you're going to have some frozen pizzas in the freezer. Well, I got to have something for the kids, but here's the deal. If there's a frozen pizza in there, then I'll eat it. Okay. <laughs> Southern Bell said you can watch YouTube and learn how to cook. Well, that's true. But if I was going to watch YouTube, I'd learn how to tie a girl up without buying a thousand dollar bed. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah. I was kind of looking forward to going over to your place, but now it's, you know, it's going to smell like. Kinky sex is like rope everywhere. Candle wax, blueberries. Oil. Yeah, you know, super food and salmon in a can. It doesn't sound as nice as I thought. <laughs> it's a super nice place. I mean, it's beautiful. All right. The, the truth is, you're part. probably going to be living here in, in not too long. Oh. I mean, you know, that's I got to prepare for that. Captain Cupcake got a hilarious tweet today doing the countdown five months, the next amount of days until uh, <laughs> <laughs> he says uh, the countdown to a ring or a sting for at Rob Mayer, five months, 22 days. <laughs> that's at C-A-P-T Cupcake one. Give him a follow. Well, I already told the kids. I said, look, here's the way it works, guys. I said, you know, they're only there three out of 14 days. So I said, you're I'm going to have a room for you. However. You know, within a year, Mr. Mayor is probably going to be living in there. And then you're going to say that to them. Yeah, I let him know. Mr. I'm still getting the Mr. I wonder what your credit rating is. Could we ever find Uh, that out? It's it's like 750 or something. Is it? All right. Uh Because, you know, we have a friend who's in banking. We could just check it out if you want to do that. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I have I have a few issues, but they've. I mean, it's not interesting, but let's talk about you some more, Joe. Um, I don't know if it's not interesting. Okay, go ahead. Sure. um, (laughs) Hey, do you have anything I need? Uh, you mean I don't have house? placemats. 